Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I am showing you this dramatic cut crease tutorial and let's just go ahead and get into it. So I'm starting off with my eyebrows just to create a shape for my face so I know where I'm going with this. And I'm just using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Taupe and then I will be carving that out with the concealer that I'll be using in the rest of the video and setting those brow hairs with some clear mascara. Then I'm going in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Light Warm and I'm setting my lids with this as the primer and then I'm going to take the NYX Beauty School Dropout Palette and I'm going to take this matte cream eyeshadow and set my lid. Then I'm going to work this plum color in the crease and just really, really, really buff it out and make it look seamless. Then with this orangey color, this is going to be our transition color and I'm going to use that to buff any harsh edges or gross lines that you see in the colors. Then with this gray color, I'm going to define the crease a little bit more and deepen it up a bit. Then instead of the traditional cut crease that you see on the outer edge of the eye, I'm going to create a cut crease on the inner edge of my eye. And I'm just using that same concealer that I used before in a flat concealer brush and just making that as sharp as possible. Then with this shimmery light color, I'm going to put that on the very inner part of my eyelid and then take this light lilac shimmer color and make a gradient into the other colors as well just so it's a little bit smoother and not so sharp towards the middle of my eyelid. And then I'm going to take that deep gray crease color that we used before and I'm going to take a little small pencil brush and just define that line even more. Now with the black shade from the palette, I'm going to define the outer V of my eye and just really blend it out, making sure that everything is smooth and just works together. Now with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper, which is my favorite felt tip liner, as of lately, I'm going to create a very thick and dramatic cat eye. Then taking the NYX Epic Black Gel Liner, I'm going to use this to make the wing a little bit thicker, but also blend it out and make it look very smoky at the same time. And then with a thicker pencil brush and that same black eyeshadow, I'm just going to blend that out as best as I can and make it look very, very seamless. Then with the Zoeva Black Liner, I'm going to tight line my eyes just to help blend in the falsies. Then I'm going to take that shimmery eyeshadow that we used before and highlight my brow bone. I'm going to curl my eyelashes and coat them with some mascara and put on some falsies. Now for the face, I'm going to start out by taking the NYX Be Gone wipes and wiping off any fallout that was on my face because there was a lot. And then I'm going to take some of that concealer and that flat concealer brush and sharpen up that line of the eyeshadow. Now with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Pearl, which is my favorite foundation right now, I'm going to buff that in with a Furless Cosmetics buffer brush and just really work it into the skin and make it look flawless. Now on to cream contouring. First I'm going to take the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir and drop one or two drops into the Contour is a Girl's Best Friend palette by Velvet59. And this is just going to make the consistency a lot more creamier and easier to blend out. And I'm just taking that lightest contour shade and putting that around the perimeters of my face and blending it in with that same brush that I used for foundation. Thank you. 
Now for concealer, I'm taking the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in light warm again and just putting that on the high points of my face wherever I want to brighten up my skin a little bit. Now to set my face, I'm just going to take the NYX Finishing Powder and just place that on any areas where I concealed and cream contoured, so I guess my whole entire face. And this is just going to make the bronzing and blush applying easier. Now for bronzer, I'm using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Bikini Contest and just warming up my face wherever I put that cream contour. Now for blush, I'm using the Artist Couture Cheek Color in Fetish and just placing that on the apples of my cheeks. I love this blush because it has a little bit of luminosity to it. And then I'm going to take that finishing powder again and just chisel out underneath my cheekbones just to make my contour a little bit sharper. And then I'm also going to do that on my smile lines to prevent any creasing. Then with this light pink palish liner by Zoeva, I'm going to waterline my eyes and this is just going to open up my eyes a little bit more and make them appear brighter. And then I'm just going to take that crease color that I used before and the orange transition color and put that on my lower lash line. Then just taking that white shimmery color that I used on the inner part of my eyelid and putting that on my tear ducts. Now with the Ofra highlighter in Beverly Hills, I'm just highlighting the high points in my face. This is my favorite highlighter right now. It's so, so pretty. And then for lips, I'm taking the Beauty Bakery Lip Whip in Versailles. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not really 100% sure, but this color is so beautiful and this lipstick stays on for seriously so long. It's the longest lasting liquid lipstick that I have to date and it's freaking amazing. And I'm just going to overline my lips a little bit, not too much, just to add a little bit extra to the look. Now I'm just wiping away that excess baking that I did underneath my cheekbones, and then I'm also going to do it on my smile lines as well. And then I'm just going to set my whole face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted to have fun with the makeup look and do something a little bit more dramatic than what I normally do. I think it's so pretty. You definitely probably don't want to wear this for an everyday makeup look, but you do whatever you want to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.